Flatworms by Mason, Kevin, Savannah, and Sam. Flatworms have a bilateral symmetry and mirror image. They also have a distinct head or backside. Their organs are located in the front of the head and they have muscles that allow them to twist and turn. There are three types of tissues, the ectoderm, the me mesoderm, and the endoderm. The ectoderm is the body covering or the skin. The mesoderm is the internal tissues or the organs. And the endoderm is the development digestive sac. There are 20,000 known species of flatworms that we've discovered so far, which are divided into three classes. The planariums, which are mostly free-living and marine, but some live in moist terrestrial environments. Flukes, which are parasites that are heterotrophs that absorb nutrients from the body. Fluids of a living host and in the process harm the host. And then there's tapeworms, which are also parasitic. parasitic. Most flukes have a complex life cycle. The life cycle of a blood fluke is first the fluke larvae infects human and mature in intestines. The flukes reproduce sexually and the fertilized egg exit human host in feces. Eggs hatch, the eggs hatch in water. Some larvae infect snails. Larvae reproduce sexually, asexually in snails. The offspring can infect humans. Which kind of flatworm blood is fluke? The answer is flukes. Flatworm facts. There are over 20,000 species of flatworms that are living on land and in water. The most popular flatworms are tapeworms. They have male and female organs to reproduce sexually. They asexually reproduce by splitting. They reproduce by regeneration and forming a new worm from a piece of itself. And those are our sources.